Marcus, please. Okay, good afternoon. So I'll be presenting about, or sharing rather, the, the emerging ethical threats within cloud computing technology. So since last year, um, we offered uh, this program, this is a new program, which is BSID uh, with specialization in cybersecurity. So since then, I've been reading um, cybersecurity, cloud security, and other um, articles or topics. This is something to do with cybersecurity. So I was inspired with this, uh, with the offering of this um, specialization in the IT program because I had my immersion at uh, Department of Information and Communications Technology in the Philippines wherein they handled um, cyber security of the country. So nowadays, 2 billion websites are hosted in World Wide Web. The internet is in control for fast forwarding the world's technological progress and advancing as hundreds of years ahead. So, cloud computing has uh, several definitions. So, you, I, I got this from several websites from pcmag.com. It says that cloud computing is saving and retrieving data and programs over the internet instead of the computer's hard drive. And then from the mediax.com and a lot more websites have their own definition of cloud computing. So to, um, to use the, the common language, so consider cloud computing as renting a completely serviced apartment instead of buying a house of your own. So this is um, the analogy. Certainly, there are benefits concerning convenience, but there are enormous limitations on how you can live and what you can alter. Okay, so can it automatically work out better? These are the questions. And more economical for you in the long run. So that is how uh, we take what cloud computing is. So just a, a brief introduction. This, are, this is the delivery model of um, cloud computing. So when we talk of cloud computing, it's not a single piece of technology like a cell phone or a laptop. Rather, it's a system primarily comprised of three services, which is the IaaS or Infrastructure as a Service, SaaS or Software as a Service, and PaaS, Platform as a Service. So these models um, offers different um, applications so as you go up, so we have less security. So we have um, less security in the SaaS or the ones that is being used by the end users. So there are a lot as well of cloud computing uh, providers. However, these are the top five. So we have the Amazon Web Services. So they have um, applications or services under infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. We have Microsoft, we have Google, IBM, and Adobe, and a lot more. So features of cloud computing models, we have um, public cloud. When we say public clouds, these are provided, this provides a designated service. They offer a single or dedicated tenant or multi-tenant operating environment with all the benefits and functionality of um, different applications. We have um, private clouds. So this are provided by an organization or their designated services and offer a dedicated operating environment with all the benefits and functionality of elasticity and accountability. We have the hybrid cloud. So this is a combination of public and private cloud offerings that allow for transitive information exchange 
and then we have the managed cloud. These are provided by a designated service provider and may offer either a dedicated or multi-tenant OS environment with all the benefits and functionality. So as mentioned earlier, so instead of housing everything, the server, the operating system, and others in your own premises, so you have the option to avail of the cloud services. However, it has advantages and disadvantages. So the advantages is that um, there, there will be lower upfront costs and reduced infrastructure costs. So it's easy to grow your application. So it's scalability can get um, piece by piece of the services and applications offered by the cloud. You only pay for what you use. For example, you do want to only avail of um, two or three applications of Adobe, for example, or Microsoft, and you will only pay for that. Um, everything is managed under the service level agreements. The overall environment benefit, so it has um, the, the benefit in the environment is that it will have a lower carbon emissions of many users efficiently sharing large systems. However, the downside is that it will have a higher ongoing operating costs. It will have a greater dependency on the service providers, the vendors. There's a risk of being locked into the propriety or vendor recommended systems. Potential privacy and security risks of putting valuable data on someone else's system in a known location is um, possible. And dependency on the reliable internet connection is always, um, you always rely on that. The goal of this presentation is to raise awareness on the threats, risks, and vulnerabilities in the clouds. So the issues that will be um, shown from uh, the next slide onwards are the issues that are often the result of the shared, on-demand nature of cloud computing and is based from the different um, organizations which uh, has something to do with creating the um, setting of the standards, conducting surveys on what are the emerging threats to cloud computing. So the first one is the um, data breach. So when we talk of data breach, this is about as an incident where sensitive, protected, or confidential information is released, viewed, stolen, or used by an individual, uh, an unauthorized individual. So an example is that um, some of you might be familiar with uh, this um, incidents. There are a lot, but I will give example of the data breach. So time hop. Uh, and had a data breach that affected 21 million users because of a cloud computing environment compromise. So again, I got this um, incidents from um, survey done by different companies that takes care of the cloud security, um, setting of the standards of cloud security such as Cloud Security Alliance, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, Open Web Security Project and National Institute of Standards and Technology. So Uber as well um, disclosed that its Amazon Web Services account was hacked in late 2016, compromising the personal information of 57 million users worldwide. So another one is a telecoms company, uh, which they call VoIPO, that provides voice over internet protocol services which exposed millions of customer call logs, short message service logs, and credentials. So the database was exposed on June 2018 that contained call and message logs dating back to May 2015. And what's the impact of this threat to the businesses and to individual, the consumers, or the, um, the ones availing of the 
cloud services. So, reputation and trust of customers or partners, loss of intellectual property to competitors, which may impact products release, regulatory implications, which may cause a market value decrease due to previously listed reasons, and legal contractual liabilities, financial expenses incurred due to incident response and forensics. So the other one is misconfiguration and inadequate change control. So this occurs when computing assets are set up incorrectly, often leaving them vulnerable to malicious activity. So an example is um, misconfigured, misconfigured Amazon Web Services Simple Storage Cloud bucket, which exposed detailed and private data of 123 million American households. Also, the data that belongs to Experian, Experian a credit bureau which sold the data to an online marketing and data analytics. So what's the impact of um, this threat? So most commonly reported effect is the exposure of data stored in cloud repositories if they did misconfiguration. My third threat is the lack of cloud security architecture and strategy. So implementing security and developing a robust security strategy will provide organizations with a strong foundation to operate and conduct business activities in the clouds. So an example of this one, um, Accenture, recently, this is uh, in 2019, confirmed it inadvertently left a massive store of private data across four unsecured cloud servers, exposing highly sensitive passwords and secret decryption keys that could have inflicted considerable damage on the company and its customers. Okay, it, uh, the data, if a lack, a lack of cloud security, so there's a possibility that the data can be downloaded without a password by anyone who knew the server's web addresses. Okay, what's the impact of um, this happening? Um, cyber attacks can have severe impact on businesses including financial loss, reputational damage, legal repercussions and fines. Next one is insufficient identity, um, credential access and key management. So this includes tools and policies that allow organizations to manage, monitor, and secure access to valuable resources. So but if it's insufficient, it will work the other way around. As examples, um, attackers recently scraped GitHub for cloud service credentials and hijacked an account to mine virtual currency. The cloud service provider's credentials included in a GitHub project were discovered and misused within 36 hours of the project going live. So what's the impact of uh, this threat? Malicious actors masquerading as legitimate users, operators, or developers can read, exfiltrate, modify, and delete the data, issue control, claim and management functions, snoop on data in transit, or release malicious software that appears to originate from a legitimate source. Next threat is account hijacking. So this, um, the malicious attackers gain access to and abuse accounts that are highly privileged or sensitive. The accounts with the highest risks are, of course, the one in the cloud. Example, um, a former code hosting service company, which is Code Spaces, was compromised when it failed to protect its administrative console with multi-factor authentication. So the business was forced to close after the destruction of its assets. So the impact. Um, Account and service hijacking implies full compromise. Control of the account, its services, and data within. Um, within. In such a scenario, business logic 
fashion data and um, applications reliant on the cloud services are at risk. Next, we have the insider thread. Okay, CERT defines, so CERT stands for Computer Emergency Response Team. Defines an insider threat as the potential for an individual who has or had authorized access to an organization's asset to use their access either maliciously or unintentionally to act in a way that could negatively affect the organization. So an example of this. Tesla CEO Elon Musk sent an email to Tesla employees alleging there was a saboteur within his company ranks. So the saboteur, a disgruntled employee, allegedly used false usernames to make changes to the code used in the Tesla manufacturing operation system. And the employee also exported large amounts of highly sensitive Tesla data to unknown third parties. So this is insider threat. Next is insecure interfaces and APIs. So API stands for application programming interface. So it make the user and the application communicate with each other. So cloud computing um, providers expose a set of software user interfaces and APIs to allow customer to manage and interact with cloud services. That's the work of the API. UI is the uh, user interface. Okay, an example of insecure interfaces and APIs is that when Facebook announced a significant data breach affecting more than 50 million accounts last September 2018, 2018 so it was reported that credential theft vulnerability was introduced into Facebook code in July of 2017. However, the company admitted it didn't know what information was stolen, nor how many other user accounts were compromised as a result of the breach. So its impact to the business, to individual, is the um, issue, security issues related to confidentiality, integrity, availability, and accountability will, will happen. So additionally, regulatory and financial impacts will be very significant. And this one is a technical term, metastructure and api structure failures. When we talk of metastructures, it uh, refers to the um, protocols, policies, and mechanisms that provide the interface between the infrastructure and the other layers of the cloud. Apply structures has something to do with properly implementing cloud application to fully utilize its services. So example of this threat happened to Netflix, one of the heaviest users of Amazon Web Services. Okay, so the Credential compromise detection steps used in their security operations processes that, that makes the attackers um, see that there is really a value in metastructure credentials. Also, Microsoft um, experienced this threat. So, what's the impact? So, it will disrupt the user in terms of financial and operational aspect. Next, we have move, uh, weak control plane. What is a control plane? So when we move from the data center to the cloud, so it poses some um, challenges, change, changing something, changing the, the settings. So. Uh, the work of the control plane is that it enables the security and integrity that would complement the data plane that provides stability and runtime run of the data during movement from one place to another. So, example is um, for those companies who do not avail or do not use of two-factor authentication. So if it's not practiced, 
um, it weakens the security of the cloud customers. So what's the impact of this one? A weak control plane could result in data loss, either by theft or corruption. Okay, so this could further lead to a massive business impact, particularly if the data loss includes private user data and regulatory punishment for data loss may be incurred as well. The next threat is limited cloud usage visibility. So this occurs when an organization does not process the ability to visualize and analyze whether cloud service used within the organization is safe or malicious. So availing of the cloud service but don't know how to, to use it properly. So example of um, this threat, use of those 1,000 plus cloud services in use today, the sky high networks, cloud adoption, and um, risk report in 2015 stated that many might fall into the category of shadow IT. So it's simply put, the IT department had no role in helping to select and deploy the services of um, cloud and might not even know how to use and where are they going to use it. So they have limited knowledge on how to implement it. What's the impact? So lack of governance. When employees are unfamiliar, so it's common that they will not um, they will not know when the sensitive information is um, already um, being compromised or not. So lack of awareness as well. So when the data and services are in use without the knowledge of the company. And then lack of security when an employee incorrectly sets up a cloud service, it might be um, exploited by somebody inside or outside the company. Okay, abuse and the various use of cloud services. So malicious um, actors or people may leverage cloud computing resources. So some of the Misuse are uh, spamming and phishing campaigns, mining for using cloud computing for mining, and then hosting of malicious or pirated content. Other, there are a lot of cyber attacks um, that you can find when you search one. So some of the significant ones are the Cosmos Bank attack in August 2018, Merck cyber attack in 2017, Sing Health uh, data breach in July 2018, and our very own in the Philippines, the Commission on Elections data breach. Okay, so what are the recommendations? Since um, security and privacy is really the, the, the concern when you avail of the cloud computing services, so, the following are the recommendations or what you can do. So, can encryption techniques which can help protect the data. Then, you can also use um, automation and technologies. Okay. Secure the account, defense in depth and IM controls. Um, security employee training and education and also to the whole organization properly install configure and monitor your computer systems network mobile devices and backup devices okay, training awareness practice good API hygiene okay, um, aside from the security employee, the one handling the, the server, can also conduct company-wide training and consistent monitoring. Okay, so, um, although the, the different companies who um, set standards regarding security in the cloud, um, they are um, doing their their efforts in order to protect the data of um, their clients the vendors protecting their um, 
client's data. Um, however, the hackers are also becoming more and more sophisticated. So, what we can only do is to raise awareness, um, to conduct more industry attention and research to ensure that they are um, those issues are taken into consideration. Um, and then security issues are a call to action for developing and enhancing cloud security awareness, configuration, and identity management. And lastly, it calls for more industry attention and research. Thank you. Yes, Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to ask for questions and comments. Yes, please. Um, Madam, it's very informative. Thank you. I'm quite uh, still in the ice age <laughs> uh, as regards com uh, computer or in, uh, as regards these matters. So, I don't know. So. What do you mean by cloud? Is it a technical term? What do you, why is it cloud? What cloud the term? Hi, that, uh, that term, when we say cloud computing, um, just like when I presented this one, so it's a system. So it's a system consisting of different services. So they provide services, so they have these models. Um, they provide, so you, you can rent. So for example, a server. So there are uh, companies who have their peak seasons that they need larger server. But mm. during off-peak, they don't want it. But if you will buy it, so sometimes uh, there's a possibility that you will uh, be paying for it, especially if you are uh, subscribed in it, but you're not using it. So you do not maximize it. So you can, you can, it's um, you can just be uh, avail of what you need, pay only for what you want at least. In terms of server, in terms of storage, in terms of software as well. So one of the best examples is that when you would want to, um, because that uh, Adobe is is expensive. So but and Microsoft for example. But when you wanted to avail of it and when you wanted to buy for it, it's a package. So even if, for example, Microsoft Excel is not, um, for example, significant or you will not use it, you still have to buy the package. But for the cloud computing, you can just um, pay for what you need. Uh, so you mean, uh, so if I get it right, it's a kind of storage? Um, aside from storage, it's also, you can, it's also a package. It's an operating system as well. Um, it's also a server and everything. So, uh, infrastructure, software, platform. Thank you very much. Uh, any other comments? Anyone? Yes, please. Uh, this, uh, this is just an inquiry with regards to security security breach in the in the computer or in the even in the smartphone uh, there's a there's a program in the smartphone that uh, if you want to secure your data your file or photo you have to move that to secure folder so my, 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 my question is how safe is that or is, is, it, is it really safe? Actually, um, parang safe is not anymore safe. <laughs> parang being safe is not anymore safe. Because um, although there are a lot of um, efforts to really secure whatever we put in the cloud, hackers are becoming more um, intelligent and sophisticated as well. So it's just like parang, um, they uh, they make uh, as as long uh, as soon as some 
new application is created to secure. They also have new techniques on how to hack. So, um, what we can do, as I mentioned earlier, is to continuously train, be aware, uh, and actually, uh, there is a factor of we, you also, on your own, secure whatever you upload or put in the cloud. Would you advise the use of cloud for personal uh, information, for instance? Sometimes uh, when we have these bulky files, would you advise or uh, is there a safety mechanism uh, for us to be able to protect our data, especially some sensitive data? Actually, sir, the purpose naman is to always protect our, our data, so our own I mean, um, would, would, would you advise us uh, in terms of using the cloud or to refrain from considering uh, attackers, for instance? Um, for it, the the, perp the very purpose of using the cloud, sir, is uh, if, for example, there's a time that you really, need, for example, election, you really need a big storage for this particular data. So it's really advisable to use this, and a lot of company is um, availing or maga they believe that cloud computing services can help them. But 100% um, um, assuring that your data will always be secure is is um, an understatement because they they would want they. Uh, have two-factor authentication, three-factor authentication. They can do uh, as much as they want to protect your data. However, um, people are also smart, intelligent, and they would want to hack whatever. Do, they do want. we have hackers in the Philippines, or are these hackers uh, outside the country? So that uh, you know, we have to distinguish uh, where they are actually and what they are after. Um, are, are they after commercial data or? Sir Alvaro is a hacker. He's a, he's a member of a group of hackers. So, actually taking advantage of the information for free. <laughs> and also, sir, um, even it, it does not come with patient experience. Eh? You know, for those who are curious, they would want to find out something. There are also online tutorials on how to do oh, okay. 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 So even if there's no formal education, you can... How about the use of messenger? Is there a way from some you know bad person to, <laughs> yes. to retrieve uh, your own data for yes. their own personal, uh, you know? In the cloud, everything is possible. Yeah. The, the more that you wanted to secure your data, the more that they want to get it. This is for Aldrin, so that you'll be careful next time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Thank you. you. I'd like to answer yes. uh, Professor Ryan's Thank question you so much, on a on a point of view of uh, in uh, data security. So this is just my personal answer. Nothing is safe. So if you want advice, this is just my personal advice. Do not put important data on the cloud unless the cloud provider has its name for security, meaning they have policies on data privacy, they have options on what will happen if there's a data breach. Because nowadays, there are a lot of um, cloud providers. providers that has been breached, data breached. Okay? So, in my personal advice, um, never put your data. If you want to have uh, data transfer, let's say, from one area to another, let's say you, you are a system, system schools. My suggestion is you create a virtual private network. So it's called DTN. So you're going to create a tunnel where in that tunnel will be encrypted. So um, the, the data will pass through the internet on an encrypted line. So let's say you set a server for one school, another server for that school, you will just pass the internet through an encrypted line. How about personal uh, information, for instance? Uh, like, you know, I have friends who have like 
bad activities. So then they go to use your advice and also advise them. So you know what I mean, but of course I cannot elaborate. I have no problem with schools. It's their problem to protect their data. How about personal? You know what I mean. You know I have friends who are vulnerable to like an attack of conscience, for instance. Never. And also they shouldn't like. Yeah, uh, never upload your personal data yes, as sir. long as... <laughs> I will elaborate it by yeah. <laughs> uh, Make sure if you're going to upload your data on the web, it make sure it is encrypted. Yes. Like for example, your laptop. Your laptop, uh, like if you're using a Windows operating system, there is a feature, it's called BitLocker. So if someone installs your laptop, they might use your laptop, but the important data on your hard drive will not be accessed because it is encrypted. Even if that hard drive will be transferred to another computer, they still cannot get the data. For example, uh, in Mac, if you are using Mac, if you want to delete a file, use the secure delete yeah. feature of Mac. Because, I'll tell my yeah, it will be <laughs> encrypted. Like in Windows, you can use SDelete. But if you use an ordinary delete, and then let's say you set your laptop, your laptop has been stolen, if they use uh, data recovery software, they can yes, activate it. That's why some some people in, in Manila, like in Quiapo, in Green Hills, they will sell their phones. So after a few weeks, they will, reco uh, they will recover some data. So after a few days, there are scandals that will be posted <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. on the web. Your advice will be able to save some marital relations. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Any other comments, anyone? Uh, it's on the video, your personal data. Would you like to share? Sir <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> yes, personal data, please. Yeah. Uh, I think it's partially answered, but uh, just like to push uh, further. Uh, so, how delete? Uh, how delete is delete? So, uh, secure delete. Secure delete. Um, when you use a secure delete, uh, 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 while erasing the data on the device, it is encrypted. So nothing, because uh, technically, when we delete the data, the data is actually reside on a certain sector on the hard drive. It is not permanently, permanently wiped out. That's why um, in, in, in our school, um, when we did a risk assessment in, in IT, so the recommendation of my technician is, sir, if we will dispose hard drives, they want it to drill yeah. on the hard drive. Yeah. And then that's the only time we will dispose it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because even, even in, in, in security, even padlocks are part of data security. So recently I was also trained how to lock pick because they taught us what are the vulnerabilities of the different locks. Because in, in, in security, they say, even you have the most expensive firewall, mm -hmm. but you, you have uh, no brand padlocks, it can be open yeah. in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Any concluding comments? Security. So when you talk of cloud computing, the the downside always is um, security and privacy. So you cannot trust that completely that um, all the vendors are promising that your data is secure. Um, there will be there will still be a possibility that it will not. That's all. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.